As the cleanup continues following Hurricane Ian, an Orlando City Commissioner and area organizations teamed up to help families in need of support. All of them helping donate much needed supplies. New Six's Jerry Askin was at the supply giveaway today. He is in the Orlo Vista community now. And Jerry, you spoke with people who say they are very thankful for these results. That that's right, Lisa. Residents who were at that food supply giveaway say they are forever grateful. Here in the Orla Vista community, down this street, and really whichever way you look, residents are trying to clean from this devastation. And take a look over here. This tree partially collapsed on this roof here. And we were also in the Richmond Heights community as residents are cleaning up there too. We saw FEMA teams on the ground in the Orla Vista community of Orange County Wednesday as the cleanup from Ian continues. You're glad the water has receded? Yes, huh? yes, yes. Not far away in Richmond Heights, 80-year-old Estella Williams was like many forced to stay put despite flooding inside of her home for days. I said to myself, I said, I need to get out of this house. But then where am I going to go at 80 years old? So you stayed here? I stayed here, yes. Stuck it out. I stuck it out. I had to get the water up. All this food in here is damaged. Her neighbor, Deborah Newell, saw flooding inside of her home too and lost power for more than a day. About right here. She told me it's tough because she's on a fixed income with her grandson and she suffers from kidney failure. Thank you. She was one of hundreds of families thankful now more than ever for the food and supplies she got Wednesday at a giveaway here at the James R. Smith Neighborhood Center in Orlando. What is that? Pasta? Veggie pasta? Two. The giveaway was hosted by community partners like the Second Harvest Food Bank, Equal Ground, right. He's safe, okay. and Orlando City Commissioner Bakari Burns. Just giving our community members some hope. You know, because a, a kind word, a, a food box. Now, we know this won't solve all their problems, but hopefully we can give them some hope to make it to the next day. They gave away Walmart gift cards, diapers, and food to at least 300 families. People like Newell, who said she's still trying to bounce back. So this could help out, I'm sure, yeah. during this time for you. Yeah. Yeah, back live here. The cleanup continues here in the Orla Vista community and really all over. Orlando City Commissioner Bakari Burns said folks who have questions about FEMA or insurance can call his office. I posted his contact information on our website at clickorlando.com. We're live in Orange County. I'm Jerry Askin getting results. News 6. Jerry, thank you. And we want to thank our viewers in the community. Yesterday we got results in a big way for local Hurricane Ian victims. A whole bunch of stuff was donated at the Salvation Army's headquarters in Orlando. The Salvation Army says so many people donated, it's going to take two days to count and organize everything before delivering it to affected communities. So nicely done.